guys, Zach in here. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you a free auto dialer you can basically use for any free phone service you want. Uh, so Google Voice, Skype, uh, even your own personal cell phone if you want. If you have an iPhone, that'll work Android at all. Guys, actually, this dialer you can actually use on your phone too, which is pretty cool. And guess what? It is absolutely for free. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you my best free auto dialer you can use for wholesaling real estate today. Be a real estate investor, agent, it doesn't matter. This is the ultimate hack on a free dialer out there because not everyone can go pay for a dialer and I get it. So I'm going to show exactly a free dialer that, hey, if I knew how to do this when I started out, I probably have never even gotten a mojo dialer. So I'm going to share with you exactly today how to do it absolutely for free. The stuff the gurus are too scared to show you. So before we get into it, before we share exactly, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, subscribe, like, comment below your questions, guys. I go live here. We are a live video. I'm going to share exactly how to use the free dollar. So without further ado, if you're excited to get going in wholesaling real estate today, do me a favor, smash that like button and subscribe and let's get it going. Woo! Fuck out of bed, bitch. Go. Get up, get up. I can't think I go through. Time to wake up. Time to wake up, bitch. Get up. Get up, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. snap come on guys how does that not get you jacked up right now to learn wholesaling real estate how to learn the hacks uh that the gurus won't tell you this is exactly what we do we teach exactly what the gurus won't tell you because they can't make money off of you that that is the reason you know they, they can't make money off of a free dialer so they're not going to show you i honestly don't care i want to give everyone an equal footing in this business because you might be starting out this business without money for a dialer and i everyone knows i scream about cold calling all the time and unfortunately if you don't have a dialer, you might have to compete with someone who maybe has a three, four, five, 10, 12 line dialer. So I'm going to show you how to sort of even that playing field a little bit here and show you exactly. Uh, so let's break it down. So guys, if you don't know what a dialer is, a dialer is basically auto dialer technically will actually put in a phone number and call for you. So you can call three numbers at the same time. Now, unfortunately, an auto dialer costs money and you really shouldn't go over three lines on it because then you get the spam likelies and stuff. So a lot of people are just doing hand dialing and hand dialing is actually making a comeback. If you use like a drive for dollars list, it works really well. And hand dialing will probably take, let, let, let's do an hour. So let's say you do an hour of hand dialing. You can probably get maybe 50 phone numbers. I, I would say a triple line dialer, probably 150, 200. And then with this auto dialing system, you could probably close to a hundred if you could really do it effectively. Um, and I'm pretty excited for this. So I, I'm just jacked up. So guys, do me, do me a favor, smash that like button and subscribe. Guys, I'm saving you hundreds of dollars a month, thousands of dollars a year with this thing. So uh, without further ado, we're going to break it down. So it is a free dialer. It is the closest thing to an auto dialer you can. I'm calling it an auto dialer, uh, but it's pretty interesting. So Olivia has been handling, uh, <laughs> doing text dialing now. So uh, in person. So it, you know, hand dialing it. So it's not the most fun thing in the world to be doing, but I'm going to try to make it a little easier for you guys. Um, so as somebody that knows Excel pretty well and Google sheets, I'm going to show you exactly how to use that, uh, to dial for free. So, uh, let's go here to Google. I'm using Google sheets, uh, because obviously you don't have to pay for Google sheets and not everyone has money for that. So if you want to get started in this business without any money, quote unquote, I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So uh, right here, we have a uh, basically a Google Sheet here. So if you want, guys, this template right here is going to be this template I'm going to put in freewholesaling.com. So I'm going to put this on the bottom right. Uh, so right there, freewholesaling.com. If you want the template uh, basically to download for free, uh, it will be in freewholesaling.com free for everyone who is in the membership site and course. Guess what? It costs nothing to go there. Freewholesaling.com is going to be in the cold calling section. 
Uh, most likely tonight it'll be loaded in because I didn't want to reveal it to anyone until obviously got to reveal it live, right? You know, so let, let's show this exactly right here. All the people that sell dialing services are not going to be happy with this video, but I don't care. I'm always here to show you exactly how to get it done for free. Now, I, I use a paid dialer just because I have Teams, VAs, and Triple Line is still better than this, but hey, whatever, right? So we got to remember, guys. Uh, so we are going to just, for example, say we got someone's phone number or we paid like zackday.com and got some skip tracing, right? So like this is how I organized the data. And if you've been watching the video yesterday, you can sort of piggyback of where I went from. Uh, so let's sort of do this. So when I have a piece of data, right, where we're going to cold call it, we're going to put the data in while making the dialer in Google Sheets. This is pretty cool. And uh, let me know, guys. Also, you can hear me. The audio looks good and the visual is all fine on this one. Just because I'm live, I just want to make sure it looks fine. So uh, let me show you what the free dialer looks like. So when we're talking to somebody, right, we, we got to understand what data points do we need. And I like to keep it very basic. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go first name, last name. Not pretty, not complicated at all, right? First name, last name. And I'm going to put property address. Oops, guys, this is live. So you, oops, so you can follow along while I do this or watch the replay of this live. Uh, so you can see how I do this. I do it live so you can literally get the, like the real time, not so it's like super quick, uh, kind of like what other stuff sort of looks like. So uh, first name, last name, property address, then we're gonna do property zip, uh, no, property uh, city, oh, my Lord. city property zip code should be on the pro like the one two three main street and then zip and then property state make sure everyone kind of knows why i'm doing this i'm just getting the data in there let's say i have a code violation list okay now i'm going to go to the property appraiser and find the mailing address because sometimes a rental the mailing address can be different than the property address uh so go to freeholding.com you know exactly how that all works but uh mail address mail city Mail zip and then oh and then mail state. I uh, just so we're making sure I'm trying to go slow so everyone can kind of catch up why I'm doing this. I, I don't want to go too fast, you know. That, that that is one thing I don't want to do. Uh, but this is gonna be effective, guys. And for people that are cold calling like four hours a day, I, I saw here someone said they're cold calling four hours for a day. Um and they need motivation to push. And I'm going to help you so you can probably cold call or it take you four hours. You could probably do it in two hours, probably double your efficiency on this, which I think is going to make people more money. So make sure uh, it's zoomed out enough. So that's perfect. Actually, we're going to zoom in a little here. So it's a little easier for y'all out here. There we go. So we have usually how a list to do it. If we're going to hand all it, we're going to put phone number one. Phone number number two, and then phone number three. So you usually get three no phone numbers spit out when you pay for a list, or if you come out here and actually just you know use the Truebill search for it. So this is what the average type of list. So how do I turn this into an auto dialer per se? So let me show you here. Let me go pop this up. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the comments. So I really hope. Uh, Honestly, I really hope everyone's watching on uh, Facebook or YouTube. YouTube, you can probably get the link from this from me. So I'll show you uh, what it sort of looks like here. So there is a type of website link you got to put on these things. Uh, let me show you here. So let me pop it up. So this is a quick hack, okay? So I'm going to put in the comments for everyone. And I'm going to pop it up so you can kind of follow with me. Uh, this is what it looks like right here. So it's H https semicolon forward slash forward slash ctrlq.org forward slash call forward slash now i know i sound crazy okay i know i sound cuckoo what was what, this little is that teaching me how to code are we are we learning python today no we're not learning python c plus uh we are just literally just do what i say that's the only way i could really explain this the best way this is the easiest link I've pretty much figured out. Uh, so that's going to give you the best success. So everyone says page not found. That's the point, okay? Let, let, let me show you the hack, okay? I'm going to keep it up here so it's on here while I do this. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to get out of this a little more. So while I'm just going to go here on this end right here, I'm just going to paste it. Okay. Boom. It's pasted. I'm going to make it a little bigger here. And this is what we have, right? Uh, pretty much make sure everyone can follow me and we're good. Okay. So I just put it on the end tab right there, which is awesome. Right? So what I'm going to do here is this is going to be really simple. So we're going to go to a phone number. We're going to just put all this info in. So I'm just going to put, you know, John Smith, John Adams, one, two, three, Main Street. Yeah, Main Street. God, I can't type today. All right. Johnstonville. Actually, wait. Yeah, I can put it. Three two nine nine zero, and I'll put it in Ohio, right? I'm gonna switch these out. I don't know why. Let's do state instead. All right, and then I'm just gonna do the same thing for this. All righty. So if we put the zip at the end. So we'll put his phone number is three four four, whatever. Okay, and then boom. And then I'm just gonna copy this and kind of make it the same, just for the sake of time. Okay, I'm gonna put Ryan Adams, and then I'll put Sarah Adams. No, I'll just actually I'll just make this really simple. And then Adams, Brian, whatever, All right? So it sort of looks like a looks decent, right? This kind of looks like a real list, right? Some put some fake numbers on here. Okay. So this kind of looks sort of real, right? So I'm gonna just put this here, this there, this here, here, here. All right. So this kind of looks real like, to, to a point, right? I'm just kind of making it seem pretty simple, right? Okay. All right. Let's go here. So now we have this here. So, uh, so yes, you can do this in Excel, FYI, for everyone. I'm going very slow on purpose. Don't be mad at me. I'm just going very slow on purpose. So it's very easy to find. So we see this control call here. What I'm basically going to do is just copy this. Okay. And I'm going to paste it right here. This is going to be my little control call thing. We're going to delete this after. So what I'm going to do right here is on O, I'm going to type in equals. And then I'm going to put this. Okay. Plus. I mean, sorry, and so I'm going to do equals this tab and, and I'm going to put this phone number. And now I'm going to press enter. Now it's going to ask for autofill. Of course, I'm going to put autofill there. Now, what happens here, right? So now we have this tab. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go copy this. I'm going to throw it in here and then I can kind of throw it back into here if you want. Oops. So I'm just going to copy it and then I'm going to paste as I can paste special values only use. No, that doesn't create the hyperlink. So I guess we can keep this copy. I'm going to do the stupid thing again. I just, I'll make it a hyperlink if I want, but whatever. I can just put all here, all links, right? And that, that might actually, hold on. It might freak out if I do this because the way I coded this, uh, might not. All right, no big deal. So now we have the call links, right? So we're going to delete this one, then boom. Oh my God, I'm all over the place today. So this is what it sort of looks like. Okay. So what we're going to do here is now we have the call link. So let's say I'm doing my dials. I'm just going to click here and I'm going to click this link right here. It's going to be a hyperlink. What this hyperlink is going to do when I click it, oops, is it's going to bring me to this tab on Google uh, Voice. 
And so let me show you what the tab looks like. I just clicked the hyperlink and it brought me right here. And so basically this is kind of not my actual Google voice, uh, but this is just a dummy one I just made uh, before the stream. It says, Google will call your phone and connect you. All you gotta do is if you just have it already connected, it'll probably automatically dial from there. And then boom, it's already dialing, which is cool. Then you have the conversation all done for you in there. Guess what guys, when you're done with that conversation, you're gonna come back. You can have both of them open, right? Like not, not too complicated. And when you're done with that one, I'm gonna go here to notes, right? And this is how I usually do it. And I can basically do it either way. So you either, I put notes here. So let's say this one didn't answer, right? I'm just gonna go here. And this is how I like to do it when I'm doing like the hand dialing is I'll go here and then I'll go to the highlight tab and I'll put yellow for no answer. Just just so I know, you know, voice, no, no answer. Now I'm gonna go next one here, click this one, clicked, right? And then it is gonna redirect me to go there. One thing you have to understand about the dialer is on Google Voice, it has to enable you to click the call. Uh, there's a thing like you'll click it, it'll bring you up to Google Voice. You go to Google Voice, it'll, it's a click to call. So literally it'll let you call on the web from there, connect your phone. It works really well, guys. So I go to the next one here. It brings me here. I'll show you here. And then boom, it'll be dialing the next one, right? And then from there, pretty simple. And then let's say that one, I have a conversation. They say, you know what, Zach? I am looking to sell my property. Oh, it's a great deal. So go here, color code this one, green for go. And then I'll put my little podio notes, you know, three, two, um, to move because of job to Florida. No, like and I got my notes in here and then I know what to do, right? And then I call the next person. And they say, oh, don't, don't ever talk to me again. Take me off your list, blah, 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 blah. I just put red, don't contact these people again. That's how, that's how it sort of makes sense. Um, so let me go and try to talk to people too and see if they need help with this. Obviously, we can do our one-on-one -on -one calls today. So you can hop on here, share your screen and show how, so you say you don't understand the link part. So as I already said here, you put the link, you paste it, and then you basically, what you do is you equal this and put it on the thing, and then you add in the phone number. And then if you have that full link done, you click it, it'll bring you back to Google Voice to instantly call. So you go down the line, you got like thousands of, the reason why I do the plus thing is because you have thousands of phone numbers. You can do it like in like five seconds. Um, it, it works really, really well. So hopefully that helped you. Um, but that, that is pretty much the easiest part. Let me know guys, if it's working for you or you have any questions on it, I'm always here to help, but I'm telling you right now, this is like a free dialer. It's, it's pretty powerful and it's the closest thing to an auto dialer. It's technically an auto dialer. If you do it right, I'm not going to into how to like make a macro Rick and call. Um, but Oh my gosh, I'm in the house after cold calling. I have four points. Awesome. I'm telling you right now, if you do it like this, help you click the link to call. Yes, it is a link to call and it works very, very well, guys. So I decided to do some cold calling today, uh, helping you do it. So uh, Savory says, have you gotten your first deal? Yes, I've got my first deal already in wholesaling real estate uh, about five years ago. I uh, got my first real estate wholesaling deal. Changed my life forever. Love it. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, that is it. So let me know, guys, if you have any questions on it, or I'll answer some wholesaling real estate questions you guys have. Uh, either way, you let me know. I'm going to go here and just see if there's any other questions on here uh, before we sort of get into it on this side. Um, but yeah, guys, I I'm telling you right now, this is a great dialer. If you want to start doing this, uh, this is probably the fastest way to start dialing a bunch of numbers, probates, code violations, government lists. Uh, this is definitely the hottest way to be doing it so that I, I just I truly don't know of anything better uh, for success here for wholesaling uh, so that's definitely what I recommend so let me go check here and see all right let's check it out yeah it's working pretty well so uh, it says you guys work it here all right all right so so everyone's asking what's the link so I'll put it in the comments again. Oops.
And so that is the call link. So H actually that might be confusing. So here for y'all. Give me a second here. All right. So all right, let's pop this up. Let's pop this sucker up. Uh, so HTTPS uh, semicolon forward slash forward slash ctrlq.org slash call. So let me know if you guys are, if it's working for you. Uh, let's see here. So if I get some people saying it's working, it's not working. Uh, so I'll go from the top. Okay. And do I'm going to do it very slowly one more time uh, to show you how to do it the right way. So I just pasted the link in there. So we're going to do this one more time. Okay. So I'm going to go here on this tab. Okay. So let's get out of this. All right. We are going to get rid of this. Okay. We got no more links. All right. Can you even get rid of this. So let's help the people out. So right here, I'm going to go paste what I just told you to paste. Uh, let me get the link right here really quick. So just Ray, if you got to understand, you have to add the phone number after it for it to find. So it says page not found. Also, y'all need to go to Google Voice and enable the one click. Uh, it works pretty well there. So let's go back here. So go here, paste it, create the hyperlink. What we're going to do, we are going to make this all R1. So I'm going to copy this and then paste it down. And if you're not having a problem, hop on the one-on-one with me and I'll show you exactly how to do it. And it's going to help you out. So let's see here. Yes, but if you do it the plus way, it'll work. So let me show you this. Call links. I'm going to put the and. So basically shift seven. And then I'm going to put the phone number I want. And I'm going to press enter. Now, right now it's suggesting I autofill it. Okay. What you got to do is just click plus. And then boom, it works for you. So we're going to ask, I live in Canada. Use Skype. Skype does the same exact thing. That link will most likely, actually the link will work with Skype too. I like Google Voice better uh, for most people in America here, but you can use Skype if you want. You, know, you can even do it with your Android. You can do it with your iPhone. That's how it does. So I just showed it very slowly and that's how you do it. So that is my free uh, got dialer. Should help you out there. Um, and let me know. So let's go over some questions you guys have about wholesaling real estate. Uh, love to answer them and share it. So boom, she got it working. Awesome. So uh, let's break it down. Fresh Key West wholesale. Oh, I love Key West. I gotta go uh, Sloppy Joe's again. I know it's a tourist trap, but it's pretty good still. It's, it's still pretty good. Uh, awesome. So, so Savory, uh, you need to go to freewholesaling.com and kind of break down what I do. Um, basically around the whole country, I do deals. A lot of them JVing, uh, but around the country still. So uh, let's see. Anthony says, if you've already made the contract to buy the house and signed it and everything, but can't find a buyer within two weeks, what do we do? So you have more time for it. So if you cannot find a cash buyer within your time, you should probably get out of the deal. Um, you probably need to work on finding cash buyers. That, that's probably going to be your your number one thing. Um, and that's, you're probably going to need a lot of help on that. So if you ha need help finding cash buyers, I recommend starting out, going to freewholesaling.com. Straight up, it, it is all in there. And what you should do is be cold calling the for rents, uh, Craigslist for rents, the Facebook for rents, all those. And then also what you should most likely be doing is cold calling the cash sales if you can. Um, on PropStream, listrei.com. Some people can't. Hey, no big deal. But I'm telling you right now, that's probably going to be your best bet starting out. Um, let's see here. Uh, Sharon says, awesome. Diana, I could care less who's your mentor. Just I'm, I'm being as nice as I can. I don't care what mentor told you. If they're a guru, they probably know what they're talking about. Uh, I called the water utilities for the water shutoff list and they said it's against their policy to share that information. What do I do? Great question. So if they say it's against their policy, that's cool, but they're a government entity. They don't have the right as private 
enterprise. So either you, you speak to the manager and you say you're a t- private tax paying citizen, you are privy to this information. If not, show me the law says I can't. That's number one. Number two, it's probably pretty important. Just do a FOIA request. Uh, FOIA, Freedom of Inter- Information Act. All right. So uh, Savanti says, I was watching some videos on Flip with Rick earlier, and I was wondering if you've ever had a seller back out because of a long inspection period. No, um, I've never had an inspector. I, I've never had a seller be upset with me just because, uh, let's see. I, I've honestly never had a seller back out because my inspection period is long, too long uh, because I've always talked about the inspection period to my seller. If you don't bring up expectations and terms uh, up front with the seller, of course, they're going to back out for that. Um, if they understand what they're signing, which you should explain that pretty well, they won't have any problem. All right. Uh, Savory says he's already done, learned everything. Well, if you've already done, learned everything, um, I'm telling you right now, th- this is a big lesson. It took me a while to learn. You are, you've never learned everything in, in wholesaling real estate. Uh, th- that is one thing I've learned very, very quickly in this business. When you think you've known everything, there's another layer. It's like an onion. Just the, <laughs> the layers never stop in wholesaling, uh, especially nuances and everything. And yeah, so I, I recommend change the mindset of you're always here to learn. Um, I I feel like it's going to help you out a lot more. Uh, Let's see, Adrian, what is up? I keep going in person to pull government lists, but they always tell me it's online. And when I do, I still don't get it. Well, go ask to pull it online with, bring your phone, say, show me how to pull it online. And usually they'll get so annoyed with you, they'll do it. Uh, Do you recommend Batch Dialer? I like Batch Dialer. I mean, I personally, I use Batch Dialer for everything. So Yes, I do recommend it. Um, I have my link here, zackdialer.com. But the point of this video is to show you how to do a free dialer. Now, this is a seven-day free trial. So, of course, you can test it out. But you should probably use the free dialer. So, yes, zackdialer.com does work. You can use whatever dialer you want. Um, But, yeah. Let's see here. So I need help my lead generation. They're charging me 150 for 40 addresses. So ask me, go ask them why they're charging you for the information. Is it because of the paper or the time or anything? Um, that's guys, if you have questions, you should hop on and talk to me because unfortunately, um, it, it's hard to break down the nuances of every problem in wholesaling just from one sentence. Um, that's why I like talking to people one-on-one and kind of answering their questions. Uh, so can I get unblocked from the Facebook group? So here's the thing about Facebook groups and blocking. We, we block probably 15 people a day on the Facebook group and not because I'm a mean person because you've either did one of three things, just three things. That is literally it. I have three rules in the group, three rules. That's it. Do it. You do it. Everyone that group, three rules. Number one, no gurus. So if you're caught, trying to pedal a thousand dollar course. Oh, but I never posted anything in the group. Well, you DM'd everybody. It, you DM'd the entire list of people in the group and try to sell a thousand dollar course and said that Zach can approve it. That's going to get you blocked. Okay. Uh, uh, that's number one. That's how you get blocked. Okay. You, you, you try your little slick thing. Oh, I know how to cold call, but it's in my mentorship. Blocked. Okay. I like, I don't even play that game. Okay. And they put your link for your little thing. No. Number two. If you are spamming a Telegram link to teach me how to do Forex, you can get blocked. And three and last, if you are racist, if you are being, uh, let's just say like if if you're doing hate speech, being hateful for somebody, uh, we're going to get blocked out too. So either of those three, probably reason why. Um, I have really no other reason to block somebody out there. Um, Also, if if you make fun of other people, then yes, uh, pretty justified um, and bullying, putting the hate speech. So that like, that's it. Like being a guru, you're going to get popped off. Okay. Number two, you're selling a course. You're going to get popped off. And three, if you're being a bully and you're being mean and like being racist, we're going to pop you up. Guys, it is shocking the amount of racist comments I have to take off that group. You got 50,000 people in a Facebook group. 
there's a lot of uh, I, they're popped off very quick because Facebook can um, filter it for me can show me hey this is what this guy tried saying but we blocked him I said what do you, you try to say I'm like oh out so he joined the group it looks really pretty but the back end's interesting <laughs> Uh, uh, how many deals, uh, would I need in order to justify hiring an acquisitions manager? I would say make at least a hundred thousand a year. So you understand every facet of the industry and of the business. So what I mean by this is number one, go to, uh, marketing. So went to, I, I, I always get an acquisitions manager last. So make a hundred K a year, then start getting people to do the marketing for you. And then do the dispositions person. And then you literally go in the middle and then do the acquisitions. Um, that is the one you should hire last because that's the most important one. A lot of people think you just hire an acquisitions manager and they're going to be just as good as you. They are not. And that is the main issue. So always be careful. Let's see here. So... This is always funny. This like cracks me up every time. How much does it cost to get on the one or one on one mentorship with you? Any way I can get on the one on one? How do I get on the one on one with you? How do I talk to you? Right? That I guess all the time. How do I get on the one on one call with you, Zach? Oh my gosh, I'll pay you five hundred bucks right now to talk to me one on one. I don't want your money. I'm not a stinking guru. Uh, we have the largest group in the entire country for wholesaling real estate, and I'll show you. To get on to talk to me one on one, it's absolutely for free. You go here, facebookgroup.com, facebook.com slash group slash wholesaling houses for real. The largest wholesaling mentorship in the entire planet is right here. So let me share my screen and show you how to join. There's literally nothing. Uh, it's insane. But you just go here, coaching call today with me. You click that, join the call here. There's the stream red link. I'm going to hide that just in case. So anyone who's not in the group doesn't see the stream red link because you have to be in the group to get the stream red link. But uh, Wholesaling House for Real is the largest wholesaling uh, mentorship uh, mastermind. It's actually the largest mastermind in the country uh, when it comes to wholesaling real estate. So let's share the screen more time so people can see how to get on there. And if anyone can understand, so let, let me, I want anyone below, by little to say this, just understand, guys, this is how it works. This is how you hop on. Um Pretty simple, guys. Um, I, I don't know why it's so complicated for some people, but like that's how you hop on, talk to me for free, and pretty simple to get on these calls. Um, I try to make it not complicated at all. I try to make it very simple uh, for a lot of people. And I don't know why some people think it's confusing, but it's. I think it's fine. So let's go talk to you guys one-on-one. -on -one. So, all right, Adolf knows how to get on there. Awesome. So without further ado, let's talk to y'all. Let's see what we can do. Hello. Let me show my face on here. What's my name? There we go. Rebecca. All right, we'll get back to you, Rebecca. Yo, hello. Hi, hi. How are you? What's up, man? How are you? Doing good. Uh, I called last time. Uh, I don't know if you remember me. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was the guy from North Africa. Uh, yep. So I have a question. What do you do if the if the seller, the the house owner, asks for a proof of funds and I don't have a cash buyer ready? Well, let me ask you a question. Did the seller ask you for a proof of funds? No, but um. Why are you freaking out over it then? I called the realtor. Uh, I I saw on on YouTube some uh, a woman. She said that she deals with the realtor and they give her a deal and she find them cash buyers. So I tried to do that. I called the realtor and he told me I need proof of funds. Uh, to, he didn't believe I'm a cash buyer. He said, to give me proof of funds, blah, blah, blah. So that didn't work out well. So I, I'm wondering if if I go to uh, the sellers, they would ask for proof of funds too. Okay. Well, well you just understand the question you just asked me. It, what do I do when a seller asks for a proof of funds? Sellers don't usually, the, sellers only ask for proof of funds for two reasons. Number one, they're a licensed realtor. And that should be a terrible seller to be going after. Number two, because you sound super not confident over the phone. Now, I asked you, did a seller ever ask? No, I've never had a seller ask for me for proof of funds. 
Not once. Because I sound very confident when I talk to a seller. That is an issue that you have in your head already. And you're doing that just based justified because you talk to a realtor. Every realtor is going to ask for a proof of funds. Every single one. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Um, I have also another question. So I don't have a lot of capital, maybe like $20 max. I have a PropStream uh, free trial account. And so I can pull up uh, leads and everything. But I can't afford to do the skip tracing on all of them. So what is the best filters you recommend to get the most motivated sellers to do the least skip tracing possible? Because I can't afford doing much. Have you gone through freeholsling.com? I watched the YouTube videos. Uh, you you go to the ones with the freeholsling.com. You, you, you go got to stuff on there. .com. If you're spending the time watching these lives, you, pr you should go through the course. Because it's going to break down the best list. It's also going to break down where to get free skip tracing. Everything's broken down really simple. Because it's better to go through that entire course than go on a live with me. Because every question you could ever ask is already answered on that course. So you also had a question about how to find cash buyers if you don't have one already. You should be able yeah. to find a cash buyer in the next four hours if you do it right. In the course, I showed a two-hour live stream I did, a highlight from it, where I pulled 250 cash buyers in less than two hours on Facebook. It's all in the course, man. Yeah, we'll go watch it. Yeah. Thank you it's so much. It's the largest wholesaling course in the country for a reason, man. I'll, I'll, I'll go watch it all. And then hopefully next time I talk to you, I'll, right, I'll have a good deal. How many, how many live videos have you watched of me? Not f fully, only one, but partly, only only, maybe like four or five. Have you Not seen me blow up uh, freeholsling.com? How many times do I say the word freeholsling.com on a live? A lot. And why didn't you go to it? It's a lot of videos. I'm, I'm scared and? that it'll take a lot of times and I don't know. I, I probably should do it. Yeah, you're right. Here's my problem, man. You just told me you didn't have a lot of funds, right? True. So either you have time or money in this business. If you legitimately want to make a business that's going to make you 10, 15 K a month, you're not going to like, it's, you're not going to watch one video for like 30 minutes and then be able to do it. This is a full-time business. This is a business that can make you millions of dollars per year. Do you play any sports? Uh, no. Video games? Yeah. What video game are you best at? Uh, FIFA. FIFA? Yeah. Bro, come on, man. I'm good at FIFA too. Oh. Do you think if I you showed me in two hours how to play FIFA, I could whoop your butt? Probably not. Probably not. Why would I be a world class FIFA player if it if you just I could watch a couple videos on how to do FIFA right? Bro, I could be Bayern. You can be any MLS team. You, you whoop my butt, right? And True. right. Yeah. Because why? Because you spent the time actually learning it. How many hours a day do you spend playing video games? One or two, probably, because I have exams. So. Two times seven is 14 hours a week, right? Yeah. How much different would your life be if you spent 14 hours a week wholesaling instead of playing video games on the education? You think you'd sound better talking to sellers? You think you'd pull out an extra deal a month, an extra 100K a year? Sure, yeah. What's the average um, salary in Tanzania? I'm not in Tanzania. I'm in Tunisia. T U N S E I. Oh, Tun yeah. Tunisia. It says the majority yeah, surveyed an average monthly household income is 500. Uh, it says that's 100. Hold on. What's the, it says the average salary for a physician there is $16,000 US. So I'm assuming. Yeah. So in that. American dollars, what's the average income? I'd, I'd say I can give you what's my parents' average income, which is about, like their PhD, and they get like three hundred. Uh, they get like four hundred a month. USD four hundred USD a month. So that is five grand a year, right? Yeah. I'm telling you right now. I literally this week I'm closing a deal of one hundred fifteen thousand dollars. If I did this virtual, and that was a virtual deal. 
I'm saying this in the nicest way possible, man. The nicest way possible. If you spend that 14 hours learning wholesaling the proper way, you'll be able to do one deal and do what your parents make in 20 years in a month. You, you can do that. Actually, no. Let's say you just do a $10,000 deal once this year. You'll make double what your parents make. And they play all the FIFA you want in the world. All right, yeah. Should invest some more time in that. Sound good, man? Yeah. Thank you a lot, man. This is really motivating. Bro, I'm not gonna I can't motivate you anymore. It's up to you, dude. Yeah. How yeah. cool would it you, be you... if you made 10k a month and then you tell your parents they don't have to work ever again? That'd be pretty cool, right? Yeah. What sounds cool? Doing that or making goals on FIFA? Yeah, you're right, man. You're what sounds right. cooler? What sounds cooler to you? Retiring your parents or playing FIFA? Honestly, that's why I started the, 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 trying to make money, trying to give them a better life than what they have. Your right actions now. will speak louder than your words. You're right, man. Go do it. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank you very much. Come back to me when you get a seller, and I'll go help you out. All right. Thank you a lot, brother. Thank you a lot. Well, I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to keep you accountable. You, you, I'm, I'm putting you on a lock. Last time I put someone on a lock, they never come, came back. So this is a lot of pressure. You can't come back to me unless you've talked to 100 sellers. 100. That could take you right. a day to do. Okay? I'm going to test you. See, okay. you, I, I can tell. All right? I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. What you got, man? I'll do it, brother. I'll do it. Trust me, I'll do it. Actions speak louder than words, man. Okay. All talk right. talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. Honestly, guys, like I love video games more than the next guy. I'm telling you right now. There's just some things more valuable than video games. Basically, when I turned 17 years old, I stopped playing video games for like three years, three straight years, like straight up three years. Only I ever got back into video games is for two reasons. Because I work five to 10 hours a week in wholesaling. I do other stuff. I work a lot still. But also because for the streaming, I had to buy a really expensive gaming computer so I could stream this. And hey, it's a little fun. Okay, not going to lie. Have a little fun with it. But I'm able to do that because I have people that work for me. And they're about, I sacrifice basically three years of basically no video games. Um, I will tell you, the only times I remember past three years I've like enjoyed myself was I'm just being honest with you dates and basically some fun movies. And I like to combine the two. Okay. So, you know, you got watching any like Marvel movie. Fine. All right. I'll spend two hours there. That's fine. Right. Infinity war end game. Fine. Right. But I'm telling you right now, like not many video games outside of that. Okay. Because I, I have a duty myself, my future family and everyone out there to go live the life of my dreams. You start, I'm trying to say this humbly, but there comes to a point you make so much money, gosh darn money in this business that is way more fun than any game. Why do you play video games? I, I love, I play video games probably, ugh, not a lot lately, Um, maybe like a couple hours a week, like nothing crazy. Like I, I got really into, uh, all my buddies were playing uh, FIFA and then uh, some CSGO and I was playing like five hours a week. But now I'm kind of back to like like two or three, right? So I'm telling you right now. So two or three. I love video games, but what's the point of a video game, right? It's sort of an escapism. You get pleasure from it. You get dopamine in there. Like you get a nice headshot. That's, that's always fun, right? But I'm telling you right now, you guys, the thrill of not... I, I cannot express this enough. The thrill of never being on anyone's payroll, the thrill of not owing anybody anything, the thrill of being, being able to make your own money, the thrill of never having a boss, the thrill of controlling your financial destiny forever is greater than any video game out there. Life is the ultimate video game. Hands down. Life is the ultimate video game. And... There's a lot of people in this world right now that don't have the opportunities you do. So either you go seize it or you don't. 
it is unbelievable to me the amount of people that will go spend 15 hours a week playing video games when their parents are making five to 10,000 a year, when they know they have the tools out to make 10,000 a month, 10,000 a, a week if you want, okay? I'm telling you right now, you, literally, you legitimately have no excuse not to live the life of your dreams. All I'm asking you is five to 10 hours a week. Try for dollars and cold call it if you can. Pull your government list and cold call it. That is all it takes. I'm not saying give up video games for, I gave up video games for three years. What did I get in return? I play video games 50 hours a week. Literally, the amount of money I make doesn't change. I'm playing the greatest game of all time. And it's called life. Difficulty is max level, right? Uh, life's hard, right? Um, and money isn't everything. I always get that. But money buys a jet ski. And that's pretty close to happiness. So, um, I mean, obviously, you got health and everything. But it, it just... That's it, guys. So, I just... If you don't have an excuse, so come up to me and give me an excuse. I, I, I it drives me crazy, you know, um, it, it, it's nuts. So Rebecca's on, she's driving. Are you safe? I am. Yeah. I had to pull All over. Right. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. What's up? How can I help you become a better wholesaler today? Uh, Zach, I just want to tell you, thank you so much for all you do. Um, I've been following you for a while and I know we talked beginning of the year. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, uh, so I've finally been able to kind of start going part-time with work so I can focus more on doing cold calling and doing the virtual part. Um, I finally got like about 200 cold calls in. That was pretty nice. <laughs> a lot of no's, a lot of not not really mean people. You know, there's not that many. They just be nice to them and they're like, oh, no, I'm not interested. And then you, I have about five leads that I'm working on. Um, that said, well, I need to talk to my wife or I need to talk to my husband. I think I have a couple of the properties. So I'm kind of looking for, go forward for that. Um, but I did get prop stream and um, it seems to be doing real well. I've been pulling different lists. Um, but I've been trying to do more of the government lists and, and where I'm focusing in is in Texas. Um, and one of the cities, they're not doing water shutoffs right now. Like, they said they cut off water shutoffs. Everyone doesn't have to pay right now at this point, basically. They're not turning anybody off. <laughs> so um, I tried to pull probates as well. I put another email in because I'm virtual, um, asking them how to use their website. And it's been a little difficult. Um, okay. But I wanted to ask you, do you, do you have any recommendations? Because I know PropStream has, I think it had probates on there as well. If you have prop stream, go to or, just do utility liens. That's gonna be the utility, best. Utility, okay. Utility liens on prop stream. Liens, okay. Um, so that's my next step. I did start doing um violations and on their website because they don't really give a list out, but they had like you can go on and you can find their case number, and then you can go and pull the case, and that way I can, and then um thank you so much for today because I don't have money to to get an auto dialer, <laughs> so. I've been doing Google Voice and two screens, copy, paste, and keep on going through. So this yeah. is going to be a lot easier. Awesome. Um, so thank you so much for that. Um, of course. And just, um, just wanted to make myself accountable to you because, you know, you've really, you and your dad really inspire me to be able to get in a better life. You know, my husband has picked up overtime so I can go ahead and do this more. Wow. Um, so, you know, we just, we want to better our, we want to better our family. You know, it's, it's been pretty it's stressful. About, right? like, yeah. I'm like, I want to put my kids in, in good programs, but in Alaska, it's like $500 a month to do this program. I'm like, I don't have that kind of money. So I'm determined to make that money for them. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I just wanted to, to thank you so much and just get your um, opinion on the prop stream. Cause I'm pulling those leads. And then I did the skip tracing on there. Do you think that's a good one? Prop stream skip tracing is fine. True people search okay. if you don't have the money for it. Um, that works. Okay. I tried true people. Um, I'm just, I don't know what it confused me about. So I've just been, you know, going through my list and kind of like trying to narrow it down. And I'm like, okay, you know, no coffees for a couple of days, you know, spend the $12. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Yeah. Um, and then uh, you have that thing going on next month. 
yes. for, um, I just want to say thank you. That's awesome for you guys to do that. Of course. Get um, your so first contract and then you could win free prop stream for a year. <laughs> yeah. Even just, just to get my first contract, that's my biggest yeah. thing. I've had a couple almost, um, but fell through, but it's okay. Keep on going. Keep jogging. Um, so I just want to say thank you so much. Of course. All right. Well, thanks. And I'll hopefully get back on again and just hopefully have a contract next time. <laughs> get it, Rebecca. You got this. All right. Bye. Oh, see, so you, you talk to Rebecca. You see, she's got the kids behind her. She she cannot afford to pay a guru six thousand, eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000. And you see her kids behind her. Like, I, I don't know how as a real estate wholesaler, a human being, you could see someone like that who wants to provide the life for their, they deserve to their kids. They give, I mean, you heard her story. Her her husband's given overtime to help live the dream. She's doing it for the kids, doing it for their education, doing it to change their life and their financial life. How can you respect a guru that literally goes up to that person and says, no, I'm not going to help you out. I don't want you and your family's life to change unless you pay me 10 grand. That's unacceptable to me. Uh, I, I truly believe everyone should have a level of playing field in this business. Um, we should not let people have no money, not learn this business because it can completely change your life. Um, it's, it's unbelievable to me. So I, I'm telling you, we're straight up right now. If anyone needs help, I'm here to help them out for free. I'm not going to go be, Oh, it's my mentorship course. Uh, you got to pay me fit 15. No, hop on a discovery call. I'll, I'll teach you it. But you know, you and your family can starve if you don't have the 10 grand to pay me. Oh, going to debt for this. It's ridiculous, guys. Here to help everyone. We're changing this industry, putting these gurus out of business. And we're just flexing on gurus in general. They drive me crazy. Adrian. Yo. All right, Adrian. Hop back on. Uh, put your video on so I know you're back. Hello. Yo. All righty. Quentin. What's up, man? There we go. How are you, man? I'm doing great. Awesome, man. Uh, how can I help you become a better wholesaler today? Well, basically, I'm just, I honestly, I'm 19 years old. I've been doing calls for the past month now. I didn't went through y'all's whole little free, little free trial uh, site on Google. Uh, what's it called? I don't know what it's called, but I went through everything. And I've been doing calls for four hours straight a day for the past month. I really haven't been having no luck on it, you know, just getting calls. Woo, 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 woo. But I'm really just trying to figure out what can really be a good area code, a good market to, you know, maybe transfer to and learn. All right. It makes complete sense to me why you're not doing well. Um, you know why? Why? You never asked me before you started calling four hours a day for a month straight. I could, probably could have helped you a lot. And what could let, you? Let me look over the list next time you do it, man. I, I'm I'm here to help, dude. I ain't going to bite. What list are you doing? I'm doing the market in San Antonio, Texas. On I don't, market? No, I'm doing off market. I've been using uh, the, actually, I've been using uh, the Flipster system. I don't know if you heard of it, but they give you a whole bunch of leads and you just go through the leads. And All right, stop right there. All right, I, I get it. I get it. Cool. It's so great. Um, I'm not going to tell you about that software. I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to go through it up. I don't recommend it. So should I stop using that software? I'm not going to tell you what to do. I don't recommend it. Okay. I have so at freewholesaling.com. I'm pretty specific on which ones work, which ones don't, and which you, ones I have found. I know you have the, the prop stream. I was using prop stream at first, Bro. but then... Not government list, man. What do you mean by government list? Have you gone through freeholesling.com? Yes, I have. Did you see the government list section on marketing? Free lists? No. Well, I haven't gone through free holes. So guys, you, you got to go through freeholesling.com. That's the free wholesaling course. In that course... I know the owners of all the softwares. And when I look at the back end, I can tell you which one looks good, which one's not. I know how much each software invests 
in getting quality data and I know where they get the data from. So when I tell you right now, when I talk to Batch and I see where they get their data from and I know how much they've spent. I talked to uh, Jesse, I think last month. Don't quote me. But he's, I, he's spent in the past couple of years, I think seven, $8 million in uh, research and development for getting better quality lists. PropStream, I don't know their number. They're probably a traded company, but I know it's probably the same or more, I'm guessing. I'm not going to tell you about anything else. I can tell you right now. I tell you what I use in my business to get deals. I use PropStream and Batch and government lists. Okay? I talk to software people who pull software. Anything else? Just being honest. I don't know many seven-figure wholesalers that are using other services like that. But, hey, teach their own. So... <laughs> You got to go through wholesaling.com, man. What market are you in? I'm in a, a San Antonio, Texas market. The area code is 78220. It's just, it's kind of like down and towards the like middle of the east downtown area. It's like a lot of buildings just need to be fixed up in there. But I'm just having a hard time. I know three. I know three seven-figure uh, wholesalers in San Antonio. Okay. So just I know what offers they use. They're not using your software. Okay, buddy. Um, I know it works in San Antonio. I talk to these people. I have a pulse in that industry. Trying for dollars is probably be your best bet in San, in San Antonio. Um, Say it again. I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Driving you for said, dollars. Okay. Driving for, for dollars in government lists. But what if we're not able to drive for dollars? Government lists. Government lists. Just go to your local. Go to, free wholesaling. go to freewholesaling.com and learn how to do it. Probate's probably be your best bet. So I'd, okay. I'd be posting that first. You need about 500 probate co calls to get a deal. Eh, 600, 700 San Antonio. I thank you for that because it opened my mind. I'm going to use those probates now because I've been hearing you say a lot about probates, but that's just it. I didn't feel like it was in my area because like I was trying, this is like the beginning. I only been doing it for a certain amount of time. So I wanted to just find those vacant houses or those apps to see owner houses. And oh, Quentin, just... let me ask you a question. How many yes, people, do you, how many people do you think live in San Antonio? It's huge. Yeah, it's very huge. There's tons and tons of people. I, I couldn't even give you a number. All right. I'm, I'm going to pop it up for you. San Antonio has 1.5 million people. 1.5. All right. So let, let me let, let me say something that's might sound gruesome, but I'm gonna be honest. Hey, be as honest. How as many you people do you think pass away in San Antonio every single month? Probably uh, a good amount. A lot of old people there, right? Mm-hmm. Sunny. Do those people you think own property? Could. A good amount. That's a lot of property out there just sitting there vacant right now. Just sitting there. And if there's a list, you can go and just go after it and you can make them a lot of money. You don't have to spend four hours a, a, a day calling that list. It is like two hours a week. It's amazing. So get a new list, probates. Probates. Bear County. Or Bayer County, whatever it's called. Bear um, County. <laughs> Bear County. Go after it. Thank you, man. Hey. I honestly be been grinding ever since my friend told me y'all's website on Google, the Flipper Rick site. I've been learning everything. And I've been grinding, grinding, grinding. Quentin. I don't. I think I wasted money on this Flipster crap, and I'm just gonna go to. I I was using the PropStream seven day trial, but it was talking about some other stuff. It was kind of you know, but I'm, I'm just saying, gonna use right. your advice. Just to, just to make my lawyer happy. Um, there's nothing wrong with Flipster. I personally don't use it, so I can't vouch for it. There's probably people doing deals on Flipster, but I, I I don't use it. So I can't help you on something that I don't know the back end to. Yeah. That being said, I know it works in San Antonio. I know the people do, and you should probably be doing that. You need to understand too, I think a lot of wholesalers have this wrong of this grind mentality. I get the grind mentality. I did it. But why would you do four hours a day for a month straight, get no results and keep doing it. It's stupid. You get it's you that mindset grind. that you're, that one deal is gonna come. It's that mindset. I try to put. I try to use the mindset to work as hard for yourself as you would have worked for another man. 
and I keep using that and I keep putting that in my head. Just keep grinding, keep grinding, and you will get it. All right. So San Antonio, there's rivers and everything there, right? Mm -hmm. You were literally going fishing in a pool and trying to catch a bass. You're grinding every day in, in people's backyards trying to catch a bass in a pool. When I was like, hey, why don't you just go in the lake and just grind in the lake, right, where the fish are? That's your problem, man. You're going after a list that everyone's doing. Keep the grind up. Keep that hustle, but use it to something more efficient. If you grind with probates, I've not found one person quitting. Not one person. No one can document it to me that has done 2,000 probates fresh for the past month, just pulled, that's never gotten a deal. Co calling 2,000 fresh probates. Not, I've not found one person that has never gotten a deal from that. Hey, I see the message, man. You see the I message? Hear it. I've never seen someone do 2,000 trying for dollars leads in their market, in like a decent ish market. I, if you need to do New York City, I get it, right? But like in a regular market like San Antonio, not one. So you put your grind towards something else. It's like you're grinding uh, to run a marathon. You're, you're, you're running four hours a, a day and then you're, you're, you're trying to become a bodybuilder. It's just like, it, it's not helping. Okay. That's what I'm telling you, man. So you know what to do, man. It's not the market. It's the list I'm pulling. It's the list, man. You got to go after niche list. You're in San Antonio, dude. There's a lot of wholesalers. There, there's a lot of seven figure wholesalers. There's a lot of wholesalers. You're going, you're literally doing a list that everyone and their mother is doing. Of course, you can get frustrated, man. I get it. Go after the list that they're not pulling and that proves success. It's actually hard to pull that list. It will help you out so much, man. I promise you. Okay. That's all I really needed to hear. That's Thank it. you for that. I, I got everything you I needed. I talked a month ago, man. I would have helped you it's so much faster. <laughs> I would have had that deal already, right? All right, man. Well, you, sure. know, you know the drill. Yep. Thank you, man. All right. Get it, man. Oh, also, Quentin, you want to know the best markets? Go to Facebook groups and RIAs in San Antonio and figure out where people are doing deals and do those zip codes. Yes, sir. All right. You got it. Thank you. Thanks. All right. What's up, hey. man? What's up, man? How you doing? Is it uh, Hanwell? Uh, <laughs> it's Janwell. Janwell. All right. I just saw yeah, yeah. I didn't know if it was Spanish or not. All right. What's up, no, man? you're good. No, that happens to everybody, man. It's actually pretty funny. But no, I wanted to say hi, kind of. I mean, it's actually kind of crazy. I'm taking a back right now. I'm talking to you for free. <laughs> I tell people, talk to me one one for free, and everyone's like, oh, my gosh, it's crazy. I'm like, am I not a man of my word? Come on. What's so, up, man? No, so I'm uh, I'm actually in from St. Cloud, Florida. So that's kind of nice. my market. Good market. Um, if anything, um, I'm not going to ask you too many questions about how, because like I was going to say, oh, probate and uh, foreclosure, but I haven't actually gone through your um, online course yet. So I'm not even going to ask you out of respect. I'll do I'll do that first and then I'll come back. <clears throat> so if anything, I just wanted to say like I just kind of got started, honestly, a month and a half ago. And okay. I had like a big brainstorming month, my first month. I had one idea in my mind. I was just like. I need to do real estate with little to no, no money down. And then that idea through the brainstorming led me to like uh, creative finance and then led me to like a bunch of Airbnb gurus talking about rental arbitrage. And then uh, that all led me towards like wholesaling in there. Yeah. That works. <laughs> so I kind of got here right uh, into wholesaling. I actually, I got fired from my job like yesterday. So I'm trying to actually do this. I've been doing like my driving for deals in the mornings, just in this area around Kissimmee, St. Cloud, Orlando. Um, and then uh, now I'm just trying to basically cold call in my afternoons. Now that I have my afternoons free, you say two to seven is the best time. I actually worked like three to eight. So that's perfect for a bit. Uh, <laughs> and so that's actually what I've been uh, doing. I cold called a little bit this morning and I'm just trying to get better. I'm more into cold calling. I'm insanely slow. Like I have, a, uh, so far I have like um, 200 driving for deals leads that I've skipped trace. It's taken me like about two weeks to get that. It, I mean, I've been going to driving for deals like at two hours, three hours in the morning. 
two two hours mainly every day. Every day. Um. So Bro, I'm just like sync slow. Cloud. I mean, there. I just. I know. You live um, in sync a couple, cloud, man. I know a couple of spots that I feel like are really good, but I, um. I could bring you Kissimmee and get 500. Okay. <laughs> yeah, in like a couple um, of, like hours. You said. Dude, I'm telling you right now, Orlando's. Fu- Bro, I go to Orlando twice a year. I got friends there. Okay, like I, I drive around the neighborhoods there. Mm-hmm. There's so many driving for large leads. Okay. You need. There's two things you need to do. This is really quick. You need to figure out the zip codes that are hot in your area. Which just go on Facebook and see where people are posting wholesaling deals. Yeah. Choose the zip codes and drive around there. So if you saw this wholesaler did a deal at one two four Main Avenue, go to that house and then drive around that neighborhood. Okay. Because if someone did a wholesaling deal, probably they do another wholesaling deal. I know someone did a fix and flip in a certain place. I don't know if I should say it, but they made money. You're fine. Yeah, uh, I actually talked to them on the phone because I I've been looking at life differently since I started this whole sailing thing. Like I'm looking through neighborhoods sure. and I'm like, oh, like okay, I can go to the parcel county, a county yeah. appraiser, and and then like look who owns it, and then I can just like yeah. actually go to the open corporates and talk to them. And so yeah. I was like, I would have never thought about that. And like, it's like a different, like just being because it's like before this, I would have never, I, Oh, the people are just remodeling a house, like whatever. But no, it's like, now it's like, that's not people just remodeling a house. Like people, like that's somebody, a builder or an owner. And it's doing that and making money off of it in an area. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'll be okay. I'll for look sure. back on the video and do that. Yeah, you need you get more leads from driving for dollars. Uh-huh. Um, if you just find you, you're probably trying to look for like really beat up houses, like really nasty ones. It's the small ones that you get the deal. For example, small houses. You, no small issues on houses. Oh, okay. like like obviously the big fat like grasping on the top is like obviously right, but like you see like the grass hasn't been cut in a while, like at least like a couple weeks. Mm-hmm. Go after it. You see that there's some cracks on the side on the stucco. Put that on the list. Like nothing crazy. You see a bunch of like RVs and like the house is kind of looking a little tattered. Fine. You see a, a you see the door looks disgusting. Like just like you got to get a little more like a little more motivation on there. You see the driveway looks all nasty. Like stuff like that. Driveway is all cracked up. Just yeah. a little more like nothing insane. Just okay. something. Okay. I think you start adding that, it'll be a lot better. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, man. Thank you so much. Then I'll just be doing that. That's kind of uh, just like my reassurance, basically. Like, continue doing driver for videos and then just cold call in the afternoons. Well, and you just, need like, to go after the the cash buyers are buying. Cash buyers are buying. So go to the Facebook group. So for example, that thing you looked up, the guy flipping the house. Yeah. Guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to that house tomorrow. I'm driving around that neighborhood. And doing more just writing down more addresses yeah, orlando's huge man it is easy <laughs> it's easy you should be getting more than two it, simple man okay you know florida people man <laughs> they, they're, they're nasty with houses so it's perfect sounds good dude thank you I'd also add it. on since you live in florida which is god's waiting room you need to go to the uh probates and pull those two probates I actually went to old the people probate. that live in Florida is crazy. The amount of probates is bigger than anywhere else in the entire country. That's all. It's a lot of my big deals are from probates. Dude, there's one specific house that I've actually, I spent all day today doing anything I can to pick up um all like just the, the names, the skip traces uh, for this uh, place. Because it's like, uh, I looked at the parcel information and the last thing was, like 2018, there's a death certificate, and then there's been two court orders since 2018 that I just can't get info on because it's restricted. But it's like perfect, dude. It's 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 call a blue it. house. I, I've been trying to call it, so I, I've been uh, today nothing, but I'm gonna call it tomorrow again and just see if I can get a hold of the owners. But if I can't, I'm trying to figure that one out because it seems Do me weird. A favor. Like a Do me a favor. TruePeopleSearch.com. Yeah, there should be I, emails. Email those emails. People. I should yes. email them. I did true you, people search and called all the numbers, but I didn't check emails. Do you have a, a sticky note? Do you have any sticky notes around you? I I actually I thought that sticky note thing was so cool, and I'm gonna buy some tomorrow. You want oh, me to go bro. to their house? They're in my backyard, dude. It's crazy. Like, or just do a piece of tape and a I don't know a notebook pad. Just slap that on the uh, front door. Okay. Duct tape it. They're gonna. 
eventually the heirs or that someone's going to go by the house once. I hope so. There's they a will. there's a Halloween thing there, so you know it's old. Dude, right in their house. Right Slap the it on there. Okay. Do it. Gotcha. Sounds good. I've been wanting to do that. I've actually I want to I want to do the um Actually do this too. You know what? Now. I'm going to I'm going to up the ante for you. Okay. Since you don't have a job, you have some extra time, right? True. Buy those sticky notes. Every single drawing for dollars lead you're going to have. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. You're going to slap a there. sticky note on it. Yeah. And then call on top of it. Yeah. You took the words out of my mouth, bro, because I am I actually was going to say that. I was like, I was going to think to do the sticky notes while I'm driving for deals. So, yeah. I'm Where are you going to write on the sticky note? note? Huh? What are you going to write on the sticky note? It's just going to be like, uh, my name's Jamwell. I really need to talk to you. Give me and then the number. That's gonna get all the calls. <laughs> that works too, man. I, I just gonna put, hey, this is John now. Give me a call. But I need really need to talk to you. Uh, that'll do just as well, man. <laughs> You'll get right, a lot man. of calls, man. You'll get a lot of calls. Sounds what do you good. Do when they call you. Um, you just ask the two questions, like, or you can tell them, hey, I'm a local investor, and uh, why you put a sticky note on my house? Don't say the I word. Oh yeah. First thing you learn for your whole thing, don't say the I word. Shoot. In my opinion, that's the same thing as just cursing. <laughs> hey, this is F and Janelle. Uh, hey, like that's the same thing as cursing, man. It's gonna ruin the whole deal. Hey, this is Janelle. I, looking to buy houses. I'm looking to buy houses for cash. For cash. What do I do? Okay. Is there any point to like um, building a rapport in a sense? Even like I li- I've been it's like, hey, I'm Jan Well. I've been living here for 15 years. Freeholding.com. F O R D. Family, occupation, recreation, dreams. Initially, you got to go through the four stages of talking to a seller, which is all on freeholding.com. Kind of talked about it yesterday on the cold calling um, step by step. But I always focus on four questions from talking to a seller. It also builds rapport when you do it. Motivation, condition, time frame, price. Motivation, why are you looking to sell the property? C- condition, tell me about the property, roof, AC, repairs. Time frame, when they're looking to sell. And then price, how much they need to sell the house for. Boom. Well, no. Ex- so, like, for example, I was on the phone and uh, it's either like, hey, Jen, well, uh, hey, my name's Jen, well, I'm looking to buy a property. There's that. And then I also talked to somebody else and I went the slower route where I was like, hey, I'm Janwell. I've been living here for 15 years. I don't care. Get out of here. Like, I don't know if that was going to be like a, I don't know if, it was, if that was going to be the same approach or the same answer, either approach, like just like quick, like, hey, are you looking, are you selling your property or, or what? Like, or if I just started with the story and tried to build that rapport and the person was just like, get the heck out of here with your selling. Like, I don't want it. You know, like, I don't, hey, I just, I don't know. You can't force somebody. Just understand that only 1% of real estate transactions are good for wholesaling. That means you can't force every single one. Mm-hmm. Even ugly houses, most of them should go through a realtor because they want the most for it. Mm-hmm. You can't force it. If they're motivated, you don't have to work super hard on building rapport. You really don't. So basically, they uh, they pick up that note, the sticky note, they call me, and they're like, what? why the, Why did you call me? And I'll say, I'm calling because hey. I was driving around the neighborhood, yeah. and I'm seeing if I can buy any more properties. My name's Jan Well, and I buy properties. Yeah, I was just driving around. Seemed yeah. like something that me and my partner would probably want to buy. Seeing if you're looking to sell it. Okay, simple. No, I'm not. Okay, have a great day. Yeah. That's All it. Right. That sounds good, man. You got it. I appreciate it. You have All a right. good one. Up, bro. I'll come back with a progress report. <laughs> you better have that sticky note in your hand to prove it. <laughs> Every half, half of it better already be done. <laughs> I got you, dude. I'll buy them. I'll take a picture. All right. Let's get it. Peace. All right. I like it. I love it. Billy, what is up? What is up, bro? How are you doing today, man? Every day above ground is an amazing day. Yo, it's a little background, man. Yeah, I'm in the Coast Guard. I've been in the Coast Guard for five years. And uh, awesome. you know, I was doing a, a real estate. Can you hear me all right on this computer? Oh, yeah. Where are you stationed? I'm in Key West, Florida. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm I'm out here. I, I commented earlier. You, you made a post. All right, that's right. right in the U.S. All right. Yeah, so I was doing a real estate. You know, I was getting my sales associate license, and 
I came across something like reading into the laws and, and the regulations and uh, it brought up, you know, wholesaling. And I Googled that word. And ever since then, I've been following you, watching your videos. And, uh, you know, I just recently, like the last three weeks I got into this, bro. And uh, I got like a buyer's list built up uh, with a couple buyers. And, you know, my biggest problem running into is with, you know, finding a title company right now. Um, I found a title company like north of Al Morada to like Key Largo. Um, but like, you know, down in the Come Keys, on, it's just so Come hard. On, man. What is that? Yeah. An hour, an hour away? Yeah, which that's nothing for me, man. I'm used to driving around. Like, I've shoot, I've driven from like Washington. I drove from Washington to here. So I'm used to driving around. And, uh, now my main thing, so let's talk real estate. My main thing that I got for you is, so with ARV, and especially out here in the Key, in Key West, how how would you determine personally, like, so there's a lot of houses up here that have inflated, if you will, like over 100%. Like in the last, bro, like in the last year, they've gone from like $600,000 to like $1.2 is like all yeah. the estimates on Zillow. You know why, right? Yeah, it is a has... memorandum on it. Yeah, so you can't build in like th after three or four years. Yeah, so like, is it even worth like getting into wholesaling down here? Should I like go virtual? What would what would, yeah. what would you right. do? I go to the Keys four times a year for the yeah. past fifteen years straight. See. Rick has been looking. <laughs> we always wanted a wholesale there, and. um Always looked at property. We know people live in the Keys. The only, I mean, you can do Stock Island. That might be the only place you could potentially. Do. I, I mean, that'd be the cheapest. <laughs> yeah. um, but no, I'd go virtual, man. Are you looking to stay um, in Key West after you're done with the Coast Guard? Uh, you know, I got like a year, a little bit over a year left, and then, dude, I might go back to Texas. I don't know if you hear it in my voice. I'm from Texas. Uh, I might go back to Texas. Bro, I, I've never heard of someone say you're from Texas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, all right. Say, yeah, but no. Nah, anyways, no. Nah, like, Texas, uh, southeast Texas. So like, just northeast of Houston. Killer market. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I'm, I might do that, and then I might go buy a house in Pensacola. And you know, I plan on amazing market. Yeah, I plan on selling a few houses, you know, wholesale, while I'm out here in the Keys, you know, best I can. But you know, I'm sure you know better than anybody else. It's just so hard budging them right now on the price, especially whenever, you know, the price might, the house might be worth 1.2, you know, $1.5 million in today's market. And two years ago, it was worth 600 grand. But there's no houses that have sold for that value. You know, it's, it's such a fresh yeah. inflation in the price that it's just so hard to determine a, a really solid, you know, purchase price, honestly. So I would go virtual. Um, I think any of those two areas you can be fine. I love Pensacola. Yeah. Uh, I could tell you right now, just virtual is going to be your best bet. So I would choose a virtual market and go after it. I mean, I do deals all the time. Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, Ohio, Michigan, from here in Florida, man. There's literally no difference in me doing it up here in Stewart. Florida versus you doing it in Key West. Right. In state, right? There's no difference, man. So I would do virtual. That's probably going to be your best bet. And government lists are going to be the best thing, man. Yeah. And you just you just get somebody to go out there and like check out the property hmm? pretty much. Like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's going to be your best thing. Yeah. Keys are beautiful, but eh. how does How does Miami do? They do pretty good on wholesale deals? No. No, yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go virtual. Like Key West, where they speak Spanish. Yeah, it's another element, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I not Miami. Um, you'd have to go all the way up to Palm Beach to find some good deals, and then you're up by me. Um, Pensacola is probably your best bet, or you can kind of do a little bit in Florida. You can kind of like Ocala if you want. Um, yeah. anything from Ocala to Pensacola is gonna be good. So, like, you think Tampa, Clearwater area. I don't like Tampa. You don't like Tampa? It's like Miami. Yeah. I got saturated. Tampa. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you want the ARVs to be under 250. That's like, 250. like we don't like locking up deals on over 200,000. Like we don't. 
Gotcha. It's just when the prices are lower, it's easier to get discounts. Gotcha. And uh, yeah, sweet. So cool. Well, I'm going to finish your videos, bro. I appreciate your time. Appreciate it, man. Thank yeah, you for your absolutely. service, dude. Nah, uh, don't say that's a privilege and opportunity, man. Yeah, man. Um, I, I'll tell you this. You have Facebook? I do. Yeah. Message me that you're in the Coast Guard. I know a guy who does seven figures in wholesaling. He was actually in the Coast Guard for seven, eight years. Yeah. Um, and he's an amazing wholesaler. And he's not a guru, so he's a cool dude. I actually had an interview with him, and um, you should reach out to him. I think he can help you out, give you some pointers. So, um, yeah, bro, he's a cool dude. Absolutely will. So yeah. hopefully somebody can connect to and sort of like he he might help you out. I don't know. You could say no, but um, go message me and I'll, I'll give you his info. All right, bro. I'm gonna do it right now. All right, appreciate it, man. Also. How much free time do you have? Dude, I got like, so I'm at station vacation right now. I got 2.30. I go to work at 8 and I'm off at 2.30. I did search and rescue. Wow. I'm an engineer. So I did search and wow. rescue for like three and a half years. And dude, I've been chilling out here for like a year trying to figure out like that passive income, like just independent job. And I, and you gave it to me, bro. So I'm, I'm going to do it. So I know I got, some guys there. I, this is completely different that I uh, work at the Naval Air Base. Yeah. Um, and they get a bunch of hookups for like deal, like property there. I, 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 like, they all get married and then they get like a really nice house for like super cheap. Oh, yeah. I could buy you could try to do something. I don't know. I've just, I, I've yeah. seen some guys. You probably know it better than me, but you get some pretty good deals on real estate. So, yeah. I don't know that whole realm, but I don't know. I've seen some guys in Key West out there. Heck yeah, bro. I, right. I'm going to message you. It. All right. Keep it up, Billy. All right, later, bro. We'll talk awesome. soon. Awesome. Boom. Awesome. Love it. Awesome, guys. Appreciate it. Um, next here, we got Eli. All right, Eli. Hop back on. We'll talk. John. Hey, what's up? Can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. How are you? Awesome. Uh, I'm good. I hope you're good, too. I'm amazing, man. Heat All one, right, yes. We're, we're good. Basketball? I'm not familiar. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Go ask Steve. Steve? I don't Go know. Go ask Steve. Steve in the chat. <laughs> okay. He, is he salty or something? <laughs> yeah, he's a Celtics fan. He's from Massachusetts. So am I, actually. But Oh, no. <laughs> All right. What's up, Celtics man? How are you? Uh, anyways, yeah, yeah. Back to business. Um, so basically, um, about your video today, I, I kind of skipped it a little bit. So I'm wondering, like, um, when you do the hyperlink, is it just for the individual number or is it all the three numbers that you listed for that row, for that cell? So go to, uh, do you have it popped up? Um, I can watch the whole video. I, I just wanted a quick answer that way. I don't go from the beginning. You have the link and then you basically add that link with the phone number and then it'll pop it up and call for you there. For that whole cell or just that one number that you listed? For the cell, you can autofill them. Okay, so I'll dial those three numbers on that hyperlink. It'll dial one number. Okay, that was my question. Yeah. Um, and also, so I've been driving for dollars, and I'm curious on how exactly I ask someone's motivation in a a normal conversation, because I I know I know you have obvious answers throughout your um your course and stuff like that, but for driving do for dollars specifically, how do I tell them? Other than the price, why are you interested in selling? Because I feel like I'm calling them about it. You know what I mean? Literally what you just said. Outside of price, I mean, why are you looking to sell the house? I say it all the time. That doesn't sound weird. Bro, have you? All right. I'm going to say this. I do maybe three or four hours a month of live cold calling. Yeah. On the channel talking to Fizbo's. Mm -hmm. And I get the motivation. Yeah, yeah. I watch, I watch like a ton of those. But... Those are like, I don't know. They're obviously not driving for dollars leads. They're but, for sale by owners. They're way harder to find motivation. Yeah, than yeah they're else. harder for sure. And See I, how I, I do it and then do it. Okay. Hey, why are you looking to just direct? Hey, why are you looking to sell the house? Okay. Seems I'll like a it. really nice house. Is there something? I always say this too. Is there something wrong with it that I don't know? And then they're, they're going to say, no, there's nothing wrong with the house because they want the most. Sometimes they don't want to give up, you know that? And then but, they'll give you the reason why. Try to save okay. everything. Okay. It's just about fluidity is basically yeah. it. Like you get a 
kind of nudge it in there. Okay, that's all I had today. Thanks for your help. Of course, John. Appreciate it. All right, it. take care. I'll talk to you soon. All right, talk to you, man. Adrian, are you back on? All righty. Jonas. Hi. What's up? Uh, uh, nothing much. Uh, how are you? I'm blessed, man. How can I help you out? Uh, yeah, so first uh, off, like I, I got a seller. Uh, he gave me a really good price. Uh, and I was just wondering how pushy can I be because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm calling him every day, sometimes from different numbers. I DM them on Facebook, Instagram. I attract his cousins, you know, numbers. Oh down. Uh, how, how, you know, how pushy can you be? So have you already had the conversation with him? Uh, yeah. Uh, or uh, what conversation do you mean? So what's going on with it? What actually? Why don't you have a contract on it already? Uh, yeah, so uh, it's vacant. It's been for a while, uh, and uh, you know he just wanted to get rid of it. So I said, uh, but but he he hasn't talked to his cousins about it, and that was the last time I talked to him. I told him to talk to his cousin about it because his cousins is also on the deed uh, or you know the owner. Uh, and since then, it's it's been silent. Okay. Um. So, so did this cousin say that they want to sign? Uh, the cousin, uh, uh, I asked if he had. Uh, I've, I've had two conversations with him. Last one was like two weeks ago. Oh. Uh, and he hadn't talked to his cousins about it, but but I asked him to talk to his cousin about it. Uh, so I, I have no idea what's going on with the cousin. Okay. So. Have you texted the person? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, try to call him again. It's not overboard. I would not call every day. I'd do twice a week and then cut it down to once a week. Mm -hmm. Um, so I would give it a couple more weeks and just text mm -hmm. and call twice a week. Hey, just checking in on this. Yeah. That's it. Just pretty casual. Don't want to seem too weird with it. And after that, I would Facebook message them. And then from there, you just go, you can do once a week or once a month. Some people just go ghost. Like it just happens, right? You yeah. use the different phone, no phone numbers. So that was smart. Did they answer when you did the different phone number? No. No, man. I don't, what are you going to do? Um, keep calling. That's all I can tell you. I, I've had direct mail calls and probate calls from like mailers we've done where they've called us once. And then I've tried calling them 50 times and never got it back. Hmm. I sometimes like, you know, but I don't know. You just got to call. That's all I could say. Yeah. Uh, don't be too weird with it. I think twice a week and then put for two more weeks and then just do once a week from there, from there. That, that's all you can do. Right. Yeah. You can't go put a stick in on their house. No. <laughs> so, so, um, Facebook message is probably gonna be your best thing you can do and leave yeah. a voicemail. And, um, the land in Georgia, like I'm, uh, you, you talked about it's like a dog, you know, running away from you. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, unfortunately, I didn't see that uh, before I talked to him. So I, I was, you know, just chasing uh, really hard. Yeah. Uh, so like I don't know, uh, he really wants to meet in person, like really, really, and he w won't meet my boots on the ground. He wants to have a lawyer there, and all of those things. Um, do you know uh, he lives in West Virginia? Uh, Virginia. Uh, do you perhaps know any, you know, trusted wholesaler that could? Uh... Is the land in Georgia? Yeah, the land is in Georgia. I don't know. I, I'm just being. Your cash buyer needs to be in Georgia. Mm. If he thinks you're gonna go, let's say you live in Georgia, there's no way. If I if this is my deal, I'm not going up to West Virginia to meet him. No, He's no, too no. notary. Yeah, yeah, but he, but he's like, we have no problem with you know driving down to Georgia and meeting. Oh, okay, well, I'll be honest with you, Jonas. You, you got two options: you find mm -hmm. a cash buyer, and they meet, and you got to trust this person, which probably your only option, and you get a hundred percent of the deal, or you find someone who's really good in Georgia that you can a hundred percent trust, but then you have to split the deal. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm fine with that. Uh, but I, I just like, how do you know how to trust someone? Like, I, I'm never in, even done. So, we're in Georgia. 
Uh, on the coast. On the coast. Can you give me the county? Actually, no. Message me the county. Okay. Uh, here in the private chat. Any of y'all in the private chat steal this deal? I'm coming after you. <laughs> county. All right. Let me look up this county. Give me a second. Oh, okay. Okay. So, as you can see, you know there's two cities north and south of there, right? Like uh, bigger yeah. ish. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You got to find the top ones in each of these. Okay. Honestly, actually, you know what? Uh, no one's going to drive down there, but I know. Jonas, message me. Message me privately. I know somebody that does a lot of deals up there. They actually have a huge company near that. Um, and I think they trust me enough where I'll, I, I'll go in them if they, if they try to steal your deal. So, uh, message me after this, I'll, uh, help you out. Actually. Yeah. Message me after this. I'll help you out. Like you're on, on messenger. Uh, yes. On messenger. I'll look for it after I'm going to write a note. Um, and then I'm going to give you their info mm -hmm. and then you, uh, go talk to him or her uh, and then right. see if they'll split the deal with you. And those people are pretty trustworthy. Um, so. Yeah, that would be. Sound good? Awesome. Yeah, awesome. The yeah, they're, they're in the city south of that. But um, right. I will help you out, man. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. Awesome. All right. Well, all right. Eli, you're back on? Yep, back on. Uh, just had to take a call. Real quick. All right. No worries, man. What's up? How can I help you become a better wholesaler today? Um. Well, thank you so much for all you do. Uh, I know you hear that a lot, but it's not coming from me this year. Um, so at the moment, I just got out of school. I think I have one more semester left in college. Um, back at my home market in Alexandria, Virginia. Um, just wanted some tips from you uh, as where I, as to where I can drive for dollars. I can go anywhere in Northern Virginia. Um, uh, driving far is not an issue for me. And um, ARV numbers would be like, the max I would look for around my area. You said Alexandria? Eli? Yeah. Alexandria, Hello? Virginia? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So, uh, not, that's not a good market. I think you know that, though. Um, yeah, yeah. The best um, market I'll... I do have a decent market. Go ahead. Say it again. Uh, I do have a decent market back in school. Um, I have a home back there, so I can go back there whenever I want. Um, I can go to VCU in Richmond, Virginia. Oh, come on! You you you, you know you know what to do. Okay, right, right so you, you just drive for dollars. Like, drive for dollars in okay. uh, Richmond. Got you. Um, do you have any drive for dollars down there? Um, like what areas to specifically target? Like what type of areas? Not like names of areas, just like how they look like and. Just stick to work, like, I don't understand. Uh, you need to go. I don't know what to look for when driving for people dollars. People are posting like, deals. You see where wholesalers are posting deals. Okay. Okay. Got you. See where they're posting their deals, and then mm -hmm. go after those areas. Got you. All right. Um, I know you said Alexandria isn't the best, um, best place. Um, but I recently just got two code compliance lists: one for Fairfax County, and one for Prince William County in Northern Virginia. Um, I'm looking at these lists. I mean, what I'm doing right now is like addresses I have on these lists and just putting them on uh, Google Maps and just looking at the properties and seeing if they're if they are wholesaleable. Is that is that something you do, or how would you go about breaking down a list and really attacking the list? Anything under 500k. Okay. Anything under 500k. And gotcha. that's not for everyone watching and, this, um, but. If from DMV, Northern Virginia, yes. Okay. And then uh, what about Richmond? Richmond, um, I think anything under 300 should be fine. I think I find the average uh, what it is now and then just go. Okay. Yeah. The that. median sales price. Yeah. Just stay it. under that. Um, and then one more question. So I've had a, uh, I've had a contract in the past, got a contract signed. It was, uh, 
few months ago, actually, um, and the seller really wanted too much. The deal didn't go through, obviously, but um, yeah, he really wanted too much. What's something, especially nowadays, that deal was a few months ago, but what can I do to just bring the price down from the sellers? Bring price down, build rapport, and meet in person. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I met him in person. Uh, we talked for like two, three hours, actually, about his whole life and just what he do, what he does. Um, and, I mean, I built decent rapport with him, but he really was not budging on price. All right. I mean, you can't force someone to go down the price. Yeah. Um, we did a whole like offer thing. So if you try good cop, bad cop, and if that doesn't go down, you're, I mean, that's all you can really do to a point, right? Like it just, if someone doesn't budge on price, tell them to go list with a realtor, you know? Got it. Got it. And, um, I mean, as far as driving for dollars in Richmond, I already have um, the sticky notepad full of uh, just, hi, this is Eli. Uh, I need to talk to you. Give me a call back. And then my number. Um, I already have my notepad full of that, so I'm ready to just put them on there. Um, I do call them after I put the notepad on there. Um, uh, have it, yes. Have it, okay, so I do call them after I had it on there. Uh, I've been doing it this past semester. I mean, it has been like two, three hours a day because of class. Um it hasn't been really consistent, but now that it's summertime and I don't have classes, it, it can be more consistent. I can do it for longer. What other tips do you have for drug dollars? What are you, what's your major? Um, information systems. Uh, okay, that's kind of an intense one. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and if you're in business, I'd just tell you to go go get a B and work hard. But uh, that's probably something you should, probably should be paying attention in if that's going to be what you're going to do. So. No. Every living moment you can that doesn't affect your school too much. I would drive for dollars and cold call government list and go from there. It, it's a great market, man. Gotcha. Amazing market. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, I do. I know school is important, but I really, really rather be wholesaling than working nine to five coming out of college. You can do two, man. You can do it both at the same time. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, man. Thanks for help. What? Uh, I said thanks for your help. Uh, that should be it. No worries, man. Go after it, dude. Thank you. All right. Yo, Kalen. Zach, what's going on, brother? How oh, you doing? I was on the road. I got you. Stay safe. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right, Zach. So uh, uh, first and foremost, dude, I got to say uh, thank you to both yourself and your dad. And a uh, big shout out to, you know, all the, um, the wholesalers that do give out the free information because, uh, you know, it helps a lot, man. Um, a couple years back, I actually, you know, kept found wholesaling and wasn't able to get in because of the high price point of the courses. Um, and I recently, I was a full-time streamer throughout COVID. And um, I just, it wasn't bringing me the financial uh, freedom I wanted. So, um, like, literally two weeks ago, I told my community, I was like, yo, I got to go. And I, and I started studying, like, last Monday. Um, I did get through um, your, your your steps, you know, get the 500 driver for dollar lead. Um, you know, I got my prop stream set up, podio, all that stuff set up already. Um, and I just want to kind of just talk about my plan uh, quickly with you just to make sure if there's anything you think I should be doing, I can kind of correct. Is that okay? Yeah, let's get it. All right, cool, man. So um, I'm driving for dollars right now. I got like uh, 250 leads in the last two days. Um, and then I also okay. am doing bandit signs. I'm going to do 25 bandit signs per week. Um, now I'm, I'm in the Milwaukee market. Oh, uh, bro. Good market. Yeah. Good market? Amazing market. All right. All right, that's good to hear. Um, now, um, I did just briefly hear you telling other um, people as well, um, go and join those um, uh, real estate groups and find out yep. where other um, wholesalers are selling, right? Okay. Yep. I'm going to do that um, yep. as well. Uh, and then I, I was wondering – because I just don't want to be wasting my time. If, if I haven't seen anybody in my specific area where I am located in Milwaukee, it, do you think I should still drive for dollars? Because the 250 lead that started in my local area, I didn't want to overthink it. I just started. You know what I mean? Dude, so, that's what you have to do. Action right. beats anything else. 
So you're taking action yeah. like a week or two after. So do what you're doing now, then focus okay. on where people are doing deals in Milwaukee. Okay. Um, now, in regards to the list as well, um, I am going to do the list REI, man. I got you guys. Um, I am going to be doing that as well on prop screen. Um, but I also have been in contact with my local county in regards to pulling like the probates as well as pre foreclosures, and they gave me some websites and stuff I'm going to be doing tonight. I just learned how long it takes to put in those freaking leads, man. Oh my god. But um, do you do you think like which like should I do focus on prop screen leads first, or should I focus on a leads I can get directly from the city in regards the to like wings, uh, water? The money what, spent the on said, prop stream. Would be what a hundred okay. bucks? It'd be better to spend that on yeah, signs. yeah. I'm okay, just I, I have you. band signs. Yeah, government list okay. would be way better. Okay, especially right, where you're cool. at. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, cool. They start making money, you're scaling um, up. That's a different conversation, but um, government list right now. Okay, now is there anything else? Um, Dude, I, again, I, I want to just thank you. I think that's all the questions I have for you. I've been following your content, not all the way through your course uh, yet, but big shout out to you and your pops, man. I hope you have a blessed day, and I appreciate you. You too, man. Keep it up. All right, thank, uh, thank come you. Come on next week. You got any more questions? Keep it up. I got you, brother. Boom. All right. Soli. Yo. Hey, Zach, how's it going, man? What's up, man? Are you from Miami? No, I'm from California. California. <laughs> yeah. Sounds familiar. I remember that name. Um, all right, never mind. What's up, man? I'll follow my camera. How's it going, man? Oh, okay, different. All right, all right. Now I see the face. Okay, okay. <laughs> how's it going? All right, good, man. What's up? So I actually just got a, book, a contract signed um, about two days ago, my first one. And... Um, the seller doesn't want me to inspect the property until EMD is deposited, but it's twenty five hundred dollars. So I guess that's my situation, and I'm just like Why in the midst of just because it looked like a good property, to be honest with you. you Why know? negotiate it down? Um, the the EMD. Yeah, he was stuck on that. You know, I tried to do a thousand, and you know that was kind of he's like, no, not even a thousand. I was like, okay, then you know. So, um, I guess my question being is. If I'm not able to inspect the property, am I able to back out of the contract? Yeah. I, I mean, I'm just being honest, if I had the money, I'd just put the EMD down and right. then get out. I've just, you can't go back in time, right? So yeah, I'd probably do that or just get out of the deal if you don't have the money just for get it. Out of the deal. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's yeah, I, I just don't want to put myself at risk. You know what I mean, I'd rather put that into marketing or that situation. I get it. You know I get what it. I mean? But so um, I guess it, by any chance, maybe any people listening right now, if you guys have any buyers needles, you know, definitely um, we can JV or something, you know, I guess that's Where? my uh, needles, California. It's uh, it's like borderline uh, Arizona. And um, if you could find a guy to JV with you, they'll put down the EMD. Yeah. That'd be cool too. Post yeah. it on all the uh, SoCal groups. Yeah, definitely. That's what, that's actually what I've done already. Right the now. Address, I, say, Hey, I have a deal I have to give up because I don't have the EMD. If someone's to JV, I'll split the deal. If you put up the 2,500 uh, EMD, EMD, help me find a buyer. Yeah. Yeah. I also, I have one of my buddies. Uh, he also put an investor lift. So I'm kind of just trying to see what, what that kind of gives me kind of price that I need to be at as well. You know, that way. What do you think about investor lift? If you don't mind me asking. I don't, I'm not giving an opinion on it. Okay. Can you see me talk about it? No. You use it or by any chance or no? Have I talked about it? No. <laughs> Would I talk about it if I used it? Of course. Yeah, most likely. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, that's that was, you know, usually my main question. Just wanted to see um, what you would do, obviously, in my position. That's it, man. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Keep it up, man. All right. Thank you. You too. Bye. Post it on the groups, man. I will. I will. Thank you, man. I will. Okay. Thank you. My lawyer is going to have a fun time with this. I have nothing, nothing good or bad with investor lift. I just don't use it. So I don't talk about it. Okay. That's my disclaimer. Wally, what's up? Wally. Hello. What's up? Hold on. Hold on. 
Hello? Hey, how's it going? Can you hear me? Uh, pretty good. Awesome, man. I just had, I just had one question, actually. That's it. Um, how do I know uh, my, my, my area is like a good area to wholesale? What market uh, are you in? I live uh, the lower part of Texas, the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, it's like the tip of Texas, like 15 minutes away from Mexico. Okay. I, Harlingen. Uh, Harlingen. Rio Grande? Yes, there you go. Texas. Um, it should be good. Should be uh, good. Yeah, I mean, it should. Um, you're by McAllen? Yeah, McAllen. Well, I'm in yeah. Harlingen right now. I live Where? in Harlingen, Texas. How far is that? That's about uh, 45 minutes. Okay. It's more towards South Padre, Brownsville, Texas. Okay. Oh, South pa Oh, you're east. Yeah. Okay, that's there's more population there. Yeah. I'm just, trying, I'm just trying to figure out. I'm looking at your videos and going through everything and doing my due diligence and stuff like that. Just trying to figure out if my my area is a good enough area to to do, to start doing this. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you. So, what's the average uh, market? That uh, I haven't gotten to. Uh, probably in the hundred fifties, I think. Yeah, I think you're fine. Yeah. Go okay. after it, man. I like it. I'll try it. I'll try it. Awesome. Thank you so much. That's a, that's the only question I had. And uh, love your content. And thank you so much for everything. Of course, man. Do it, man. You got this. What what what's marketing are you gonna do? Excuse me. What market are you gonna do? Like I mean, marketing. 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 Uh, I have no idea. You know what? I've been do I've been doing uh, SEO since for S uh, for for eight years now. I do local lead gen, so I have websites out there. I rank them and I rent them out to real businesses and stuff. So I've been doing that for eight years. So I don't I don't know what selling. Yeah, no, not wholesaling. It's just uh, local lead generation. Try it, man. Yeah, try it for your own uh, wholesaling. Now, the population seems a little low. Uh huh. Uh, but if you can get it ranked, I don't think it'll hurt. So just get it ranked for like. Uh, like look up what? the uh, just you know Google Trends like you you know yeah. how, you know it's better than me man yeah yeah right? yeah sell house city we buy houses sell house fast sell house cash like yeah you yeah, know yeah. Better definitely. Than me, man. You know all better the keywords me. all the keywords yeah yeah I got you I got you definitely Thank and look up so some much. this probably won't hurt obviously yeah. but like I know SEO guys that have big egos when it comes to wholesaling that they know everything. Mm -hmm. go just figure out the best guys in texas and look at their sites and copy it exactly yeah like i'm telling you like we, like sell house fast dallas uh-huh they're probably doing something right right they they, they got like pe those guys spent spend hundreds of thousands a year of like seo dudes they're mm -hmm. doing something right for wholesaling so um yeah. i'm not saying this about you but like if anyone's trying to get an seo for wholesaling and you've done it in the past get your ego out and see what's working in this industry with seo and mm -hmm. put it for your own yeah yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Keep it up, man. All right. Boom. All right. Yo. Yo, what's going on? How are you? How are you, man? I'm doing good. How about yourself? Can you hear me all right? Oh, yeah. Loud and clear. All right. Nice. Uh, first off, just wanted to say I just got into your channel probably about, uh, I think it was, it was like late at night. You were doing a late stream, uh, at least my time. It was like six in the morning. And I came across. And I was like, I had been looking at the wholesale industry and done some research about it. And every person I looked at, it was always a free or not a free, it was always a course that I had to buy or something to get like some sort of actual knowledge besides find a house, put the contract in, assign the contract. And so I found your channel and I instantly was like, like all the knowledge was just right there. And especially at a free wholesaling doc. I was like, wow, like this is insane. Um, and I don't know if you remember, but I had commented on that live stream and you were like, I want you to come in tomorrow and talk in a one on one. And I wasn't able to make it. Um, but uh, I've taken everyone's advice and actually started taking action. And I have a house that I want to talk to the seller to. Um, and I mean, it the, the market is really, really like dry. It's really bad. It's in Mississippi. Um, I don't know if you've done deals out there, uh, but it it's Where really bad. Uh, Natchez. It's like a really, really tiny county. Uh, there's only like a few houses on the market out there, but it's for sale by owner. Um, 
and it looks like a Are really good show. Movie? No, I'm virtually. Okay. Where are you at? Because uh, I live in, um, I'm in Central Virginia. Okay. And I mean, uh, at least in Central my city. Virginia? Yeah. Why don't you wholesale there? Well, I would still be doing virtual because I live in Lynchburg, Virginia, which is about an hour away from Richmond, about three hours away from Charlotte or Raleigh. So, I mean, yeah. and, unless if I make the drives, you know, I could like in person wholesale it, but I, I'd probably do it virtually as well. Um, Lynchburg's a good market, man. Lynchburg? Not insane. Wait, let me see. Is that where LU is? Yeah, LU. Yeah, it's not bad. You think you, I could find a deal out here? Yeah, man. Because, like, every time I look at the market, I look at, like, I haven't pulled any list at all. That's the one thing I haven't done. I, I haven't pulled any list. Population uh, 80. Median price. Median income. i oh, sorry. Median household price. Let's figure it out for you. Oh, yeah, dude. Look at this. Uh, 218. It's lower than my market. 218? Yeah, dude. Then you won't have to deal with nowhere in Mississippi. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's literally in the middle of Mississippi. We'll do the deal, man. Like... We'll do the deal. I'll do Lynch Lynchburg, man. All day. So? Oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay. I think this is so cool, too. Like, it, I'm it's saying really this is the nicest way. This. You're going to hate me for this, but everyone, thousands of people are going to see this now. I always tell people, are you ready for this? Yeah. Go, the best virtual market is the one that no one talks about. Yeah. You're in Lynchburg, Virginia. No one talks about it. The ARV is under 250, and it's got a decent population in technically a college town. Mm -hmm. It's just hard. Like, I don't find any houses. Uh, well, actually, that's a lie because I'm looking at one right now. Oh, like, right. I just put it up Code on my list. Sale by Auto shut offs. People pass away in Lynchburg, Virginia every day. <laughs> oh my god there's eighty thousand, at least sixty thousand houses in lynchburg even the, do the county what, what county uh is lynchburg in um campbell county like bedford county they kind yeah, of whatever county like, yeah whatever county it is do that entire county mm. you should get a list of the people that haven't cut their grass amazing list people that yeah. haven't paid their water bill people that um behind on their taxes 80,000 people, there's at least a couple thousand this month that have done something stupid. Yeah. The arrest record list. Dude, Lynchburg, yes. And my, the, the funny thing is, is uh, I heard you mention like water shutoff list. And I thought it was really funny because my grandma works for the city of Lynchburg water treatment. So she goes out and she'll cut people's water off who haven't paid it. Do you and, think, that, have you lived in a house without running water? Yeah. No, you don't want to. No, Those I don't want to, want to but sell, I, 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 I right? have before it. Yeah, no. You don't want they to probably want to sell. Get that list. Yeah. If it's legal for you, obviously, but like Yeah. Yeah. Seems like a pretty good list. If no one else in Lynchburg is pulling that list, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Well, I'll definitely give it a shot. Um I appreciate that because I, I to me, I was like, uh, I can't wholesale here. Like I'd have to go virtual. That's why You're I'm looking at this house in Mississippi because I was like, I see nothing here. You don't see anything. You'll be shocked. Let, let me pop this up for you. Actually, I don't think I have enough time here. But um, I want you to go search. The, um, go to freehosting.com. There mm. is a list source hack. Okay. You can find out how many cash sales. Actually, let me do this for you too. Let me go to prop stream and show you this. Because I'll just do it in prop stream real quick. Come on, give me this paper. Let me pull this up. I I know you don't see it. it it's it's eye opening. Uh, let me see this. All right, Lynchburg. All right, all right. Forty five thousand houses in Lynchburg. I'm gonna go to filter. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to um, cash buyers. No, no. We're gonna do flippers. All right. You don't need a buy prop. I'm just showing this as a reference yeah. for you. All right. You see my screen? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. This is all recently stuff, so nothing crazy. Mm -hmm. But we'll do this one. Albin Investing LLC, which is probably a really good thing. Yeah. They bought the property for, I don't know, 81? 
Let's see. They bought the property for 60. Mm -hmm. And they're listing it on the market for 135. Dang. And then Lynchburg? 2267 Odie Street. Odie Street. You know where that is? Downtown? Okay. This is 24501 zip code. Yeah, that's that's, yeah, that's right. Downtown. Bro, if you can lock this up for 60, sell to the guy for 100, you'd make uh, 40K. That's insane. Do you see I did that? Not know that was, I did not know there was potential in Lynchburg at all. Bro, come on. 134. That's cheap. That's a 2-1. It's a tiny house built in 1900. But like, mm -hmm. dude, come on. Let's go to the next one. Edward J. Fryer Builder. Oh, you don't have to do prop stream. Uh, it it's actually list source. Oh, okay. Uh, let me go here. Nine one one Rivermont Drive, Empire Capital, uh -huh. who lives in Lynchburg. They bought. I don't know what they bought it for. Um, you're probably gonna have to go look. Yeah, I know. Actually, no, they bought it for sixty five. And they're listing it right now for 489, but something's up. It's probably something's weird about that, probably. Yeah. Just FYI. They oh, they bought they have a 218. They have some it's a commercial loan. Um, but like people are flipping houses all the time, dude. Let me go here. That's just flippers. I'm gonna go cash buyers. These are the people that have bought in properties for cash. Okay. Mm. Let's do this one. 112 Holland Street. All right, you see this? Yeah, oh, I'm looking. Actually, my thing's not sharing for some reason. It's weird. One one two Holland Street. Uh, this property was bought in all cash for it says twenty k. Someone bought this for it was listed for sixty, and someone bought it for twenty. They probably had a that's probably what it went with Fidelity National Title. Um. I gotta look this up one more time, but it was listed for sixty, and they bought it for twenty. Oh no, that was in twenty nineteen. I gotta see what the recording date was. It does it have the cash? Hold on. They bought. Oh, they bought it for thirty. No, I gotta look it up. Yeah. But this property is bought for all cash. It says for twenty k. Oh, actually, wait. I gotta filter this out. So they got some older ones here. All right, let me go by date, actually. Um, let's do something recent. 1620 Floyd Street. Bezier of uh, Build bought this house for cash this month. See, there's... Uh, it, all right, so let me get your opinion on this. I know Floyd Street personally, and it's not the best part of Lynchburg at all. How do you go about... like, Let's say you found a really good deal. Like, If you found that house, how would you go about dealing with that house in that kind of neighborhood? Like, it's... it's Bro, do you see the roof here? I'm calling that. Are you kidding me? Look, that looks like a distressed looking house to me. Yeah. Bro, look at this. Bro, come on. That one already sold? Yeah, someone already bought it for cash. Because you decided not to wholesale in Lynchburg. I this didn't guy, I mean, someone's making money because you didn't decide to wholesale here. That's wild. All right, well, man. Look at this. You. Thank you for opening my eyes to that. I this is probably a wholesale deal, deal, dude. I'm just telling you right now. This is probably a wholesale deal. I mean, Asia I Vid Build LLC is a cash buyer. I want you to do me a favor, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you see Bela on? You're on your phone, right? You yeah. probably don't have the like, private chat. Can you do, you? do you see the private chat? No. I, yeah, I can see the private chat. Okay, I'm putting the, the cash buyer. Everyone can see it. Beja Build LLC. I want you to look this person up and see how many properties they've bought in for cash in the past three years in Lynchburg and figure out the, the best market where they're buying it okay. and go after it. I've seen linked properties. They actually, okay, you know, I'm going to link properties here on prop stream. I'll make this easier for you. All right. You, have you seen, do you watch my stuff on YouTube? Yeah, I would try and keep so, up with every video. So you can, all right, just save this YouTube channel, this YouTube mm -hmm. video, and then save it for yourself. Here are all the addresses this guy's bought in for cash. These are probably good wholesaling markets. Actually, how far is Monroe from you? Is it far? Monroe Street? Monroe, Virginia. Oh, Monroe, Virginia? It shouldn't be that far. Probably like 90 miles or something. Oh, okay. No. Monroe right, sounds so pretty close. That sounds fairly familiar. 
I'm only nine two five Center Street in Lynchburg. Sorry. Three two zero one Richmond Street. Three nine two five Center Street. This guy's bought in these properties Monroe's for like pretty cheap. Oh, Monroe. Seven one four Taylor away. Street. 407 Oak Ridge Boulevard. Like these are all properties and areas you should be wholesaling. That's all the ones that they've bought. Yeah, those are probably going to be good wholesaling spots for you. That's insane. That that's insane. I literally thought it was completely dead out here because no one talks about Lynchburg. No one like like I'm not trying to talk about it, man. You're making everyone flood it. Flood it though. Yeah. But I got to prove to you. Look how many of these houses this guy just bought in Lynchburg for cash. I'm getting on this guy's cash buyers list. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's insane. This is why I came to the one-on-one to get the best advice from you, man. I'm telling this you, it's fun. all in there, man. Uh, can I ask you one quick question before uh, sure. I get off here? Um, so the only thing that I'm really confused about, uh, and now that I like have done so much research, the one thing that I'm still confused about is you said something – uh, on one of your live streams and you said it multiple times to tweak the contract uh, depending on the state that you're wholesaling in. And I wanted to see if you could clarify that a little bit more. Um, yeah, find the title company and mm-hmm. then send them the contract I have and then see if that's fine for an assignment of contract. Just the assignment, not the purchase and sale agreement? The assignment and purchase and sale. Okay, see if they both accept of both of them. Why wouldn't they accept either one? Some title companies just don't like wholesaling. You oh, got to okay. find one that, that that does. Okay. I never really I understood. Companies why. I don't like it where I'm at right now. And I have yeah. ones that do. They're all different. Okay. Well, I appreciate you having me come on, man. I like it. It's really different having like a mentor, or like a, a coach, if you will, like actually do one-on-ones. With no you. mentor would do this for you. Yeah. You, you, you would, bro, if you gave a regular guy six grand, you would be in a Zoom with 300 other people. So. Yeah. I'm doing what no other mentor would do. So you have the areas, you know where to go after. You know what to do, man. Yeah. All right. I appreciate it, man. I really do. And I'll try and be on here every single time. We'll see. Give you some updates. Hopefully I get my first deal soon. Bro, you're in an amazing market. You should should have no problem doing it. I appreciate it, man. All right. Get it going. All right. You have a good one. All right. Boom. Yo. Oh, back on. Hello. Yeah, can you hear me? Go. Yeah, what's up? Hey, I was just wondering, uh, how can you file the F O I A act? FOIA request to just download it online, and then I just send it to them to the water utilities. Yep. But uh, how do I send it to them if I'm talking to them on the phone? Email, whatever correspondence works for them. Oh, all right. Well, that was on my, that's that's my only question. Oh wait, no, no. I was gonna ask. I like you know how you did a hundred thousand dollar deal. Yes. How'd you do that if you don't if you don't buy houses like that aren't uh, over two hundred thousand? Oh, that one is open. So that one sold for. Sure, which one you're talking about? And I did not release that video yet. All right, there's a couple of them. Um, one we locked up for like one ten. And then when we sold for like two thirty, that I haven't done, I haven't talked about that one yet. But oh uh, well, then I'll wait for that video because I would love to learn that. You know what I'm saying? Damn, big money right there. They're mostly probates, man. Probates, that's the way. That's the way, man. All right, bro. We well, appreciate you, man. All right, hey, you, you're a blessing, bro. All right, no worries, no worries. Kayla, are you making bandit signs? Let me see. Let me see what they look like. Let me see. Hide the phone number. We buy houses cash. All right, cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. I like it. I like this. I like it. Mike, audio, audio, audio. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So sorry about that. All right. um, I saw you writing them. I'm like, all right, let, let's, let's see. What they're, they're looking good. Yeah, man. I, I'm i loving it. I'm loving it. That's all I got to say. I love it. Um. Sorry favor. about uh, jumping back steaks. on as well. What you say? Cut them in half. Cut them Wait, in what? half. Cut the steaks in half. Yeah, these ones. Let me see what they look like. I got these. I got these wooden steaks. Uh, oh, they're wooden. Oh, I thought they were metal. Yeah, you're fine. Oh yeah, the metal ones were expensive, man. I was like, holy crap. 
Well, you, you cut them in half. Um. So uh, the, cut them. You know, cut the uh, the metal ones in half. Yeah. I got you. Okay. So sorry about calling you back, but uh, I had a quick question. So my question was, is I'm, I'm already seeing how time consuming some of this stuff is. And um, the question I have is with, when I prospect in regards to, I'm going to be doing the, uh, the bandit signs every single week. Um, but when we talk about driving for dollars as well as pulling lists, how often do you do these things? I don't want to spend in it. And how often do I spend on the phone dialing? I'm very familiar with dialing. Um, I don't mind it at all. Um, but I just need to know, like, to allocate my time right. Uh, just go slow at first and figure out how much you can do with your time. So you can do bandit signs, well, three, four hours a week on a weekend, right? Okay. And then mm -hmm. you could drive for dollars a couple hours and then call for a couple hours. You can do it four hours a day if you wanted to. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's no problem. I can do a lot of activity. I just want to make sure, um, you know, um, that what am, what am I trying to say? So like when you say dialing out and also like, cause I hear you say like, um, I think I heard you say earlier today, like 500, 600 probate leads will lead you to one contract. Correct. 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 Okay, oh, correct. So is that context like you're speaking to the homeowner or is that dials just going out? Ta speaking to the homeowner. Speaking to the homeowner. Okay, so six 600 uh, contacts. Okay. And then just um, as much prospecting as possible and then just like four hours of dialing per day should be okay in regards oh, yeah. to appointments. Okay. And then um, there's some I just put in my notes here oh and, and and the last thing the last thing i wanted to tell you is i love you zach you're the best you're the greatest <laughs> love you man <laughs> well, all right man. buddy you have I a nice day take some action put the energy <laughs> in the bandit signs bro let's get it oh uh, yeah man <laughs> thanks man keep it all up right, brother peace boom all right tj hello can you hear me what's up hey zach how you doing man I'm blessed, man. How can I help you out? Yeah, so um, I was just trying to figure out if uh, if I should just go virtual or uh, focus on my local market too. I'm in Oakland, California. Okay. Uh, yes. So is it even worth going for the local market, or should I just people wholesale in Oakland, man? So that actually kind of does work. I would do fifty okay. fifty. So I would spend 50% of my time doing local in Oakland and then 50% virtually wherever you want. Okay, cool. Do you know of any other wholesalers around the area? Nothing like crazy. All right, got you, got you. Well, um, well, hey, I've been watching for you about two months and thanks for everything you do, man. You begin giving out free game. <laughs> no worries, man. <laughs> All right, thank you, man. Keep it up. Mm-hmm. Boom. All right, guys. So if you want to learn wholesaling real estate absolutely for free, not pay a guru, learn absolutely for free, go to freewholesaling.com right there. I'll see you guys soon. Hopping on with work tomorrow. We're talking free stuff. So giving out some free game tomorrow. So it'd be a fun one. So guys, hop on tomorrow. Hopefully see you there. Go to free